Well, we know this housing is a critical problem around here, and it often leads to some creative solutions, even in the back of a van. Our new series called Overpriced, Overwhelmed, Over It breaks down what every Californian should know about how we got into this housing mess. While embarking on a year-long investigation, reporter Candace Went met a young man who may be on to something, Candace. <laughs> yeah, he might just be Raj and Jess. Um, Evan Fu will be the first to tell you his new way of life is not a housing fix for everyone. But what struck me and prompted us to create this bonus episode to our housing series was his philosophy around his solution and why, in his case, having unstable housing gives him more stability. This is the van that I live in. I'm in this full time. Every morning I would use this sink. This is all my plumbing. Take a look at the top. There's uh, solar panels on the top. Born and raised in California. My parents were immigrants. Living in a van is the latest in a series of pivots Evan Fu has made since leaving home and traveling north to Santa Cruz and the Bay Area. I attended UC Santa Cruz uh, for undergrad and I dropped out during my uh, junior year. These are pivots made during tough times. I was kind of like a, a mental wreck at the time. A feeling many young people can relate to. I remember kind of being naive and thinking like, oh, I'm, the major I'm choosing to begin with is going to be the major I'm going to stick with because I know I'm passionate about it. What did you pick? Astrophysics. <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard right now? <laughs> because, because I get people, you know, like when I say astrophysics, right, they always have like a, a very specific, <laughs> like, oh, I would have, I would have dropped out too. We're facing things like more student debt than ever in, in than any previous generation, housing insecurity. There's just so many issues that we're facing and we don't have a solution for it. I think a philosophy that I follow that it's better to do something than to do nothing. In my current stage of life, this is actually the best housing situation. If I'm renting an apartment or a house, I'm in a sense more insecure because one, I'm giving up more money, like a lot more money than living in a van. And I don't know if the rent, went, how much rent is gonna go up, you know, five years from now. I don't know if I need to move for, for school or work. Is this a housing solution for everyone? No, absolutely not. Fu's temporary housing solution has hit a chord though. His YouTube channel documenting his journey has more than 90,000 subscribers. Some of them join him for weekend meetups, like in this parking lot where he's allowed to stay in Santa Cruz overnight. I have my refrigerator. Lee Carnwath was three months into her van life adventure when she came to this meetup. How is it? I love it. <laughs> it's like ultimate freedom for me. A freedom that's facing resistance. After receiving complaints from neighbors, the city of Santa Cruz is pushing for an ordinance to ban unpermitted, oversized vehicles from overnight parking on public streets. There are public safety and public health issues. Council member Shebra Kalantari Johnson introduced the ordinance. These are some photos council was shown at its meetings. It includes having human waste into our water systems, it includes having hypodermic needles and other trash in our water systems. I think it's fair. People's homes are their private space, right? And, and if they don't feel comfortable with something that's near their home, I mean, I think they have a right to, to obviously bring it up. Some are calling this ordinance a criminalization of homelessness. Not one person has been criminalized. Yet, which is the concern? While Santa Cruz continues to figure out its housing crisis solutions. I also like hanging my clothes, obviously. Fu says he'll continue to work on his. More than housing, this solo van life journey is ironically his response to a lack of community. There you go. Yeah, have Thank a good one. you. You too. So I have some pizza if you guys like. Oh, 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 dude. Hey. I want to share my life and how I did van life, not to convince other people to do van life, but to convince others that there needs to be a solution that they need to figure out in, the, in their lives and also try to collectively to see what is the solution that can work for all of us. We learned about Evan and Van Living. So we learned about Evan and Van Living while working on our four-part housing series that you can stream online right now. Now, in the series, we dig deeper into government policies that haven't quite addressed the heart of certain housing issues and in some cases made them worse. Watch all those episodes right now on NBCBayArea.com slash overpriced on Roku, Apple TV, and on YouTube. Candace Wynn, NBC Bay Area News.